What's up guys, Sam here. Today we're gonna to talk about exhaust modifications for your W204 C63. So first of all, we already know the W204 C63 is one of the best sounding factory exhaust systems ever, basically. But that doesn't stop us from modifying it, does it? Before we talk about modifications, first I wanna talk about the stock system, what the parts are we will be dealing with when modifying it. We're gonna be going over 20 different C63 exhaust setups in this video. It's gonna be probably one of the most comprehensive exhaust videos for a C63 out there. But I wanna thank all my Instagram followers for making this possible. A lot of you guys sent in video submissions of your own exhausts and you told me what your setup was. We're gonna include it here for comparison. So, which one is best? That's for us to find out. And honestly, a lot of this is subjective and uh, it's kind of hard to say what's best because we all have different ears and we all prefer different sounds. I'll be splitting this video into two main parts. So I'll have chapters for every single setup, but there are two main parts. So the first half is gonna be stock headers and the second half is going to be long tube catless headers for the most part. Although there are some catted long tube headers as well, but for the most part, they'll be catless. Also wanna mention that a lot of these exhausts do sound a bit different in person than in video. So there's something to think about as well, especially considering everyone has different microphone setups with different phones and one are actual, you know, proper cameras. So that is something to think about, but this video should serve as a pretty good comparison and stuff like that. I'll be putting a list in the description below of all the setups and all the Instagrams of the individuals who sent in their exhaust clips. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so the stock exhaust. First up, we have the stock headers, which are pretty restrictive for the M156, which is pretty, you know, necessary for emissions and whatnot, passing regulations in different countries. Then we have attached to the very base of them are the primary catalytic converters. Now, around the primary catalytic converters, you have your pre and post catalytic converter O2 sensors. You can see them kind of roughly over here. Now, this drawing is by no means, you know, exactly precise, but it gives you kind of a rough idea of where things are. Next up, the two banks of cylinders actually meet at one place in an X pipe at the secondary catalytic converters. There are actually no sensors around the secondary catalytic converters, so you can remove them without the car even knowing, really. After the secondary catalytic converters, we have the resonator. All this does is sort of adapt the sound to like how AMG want it to be, uh, which I think is pretty good. It kind of avoids having drone. And then after that, we have the stock mufflers. Now, whatever you do, unless you're buying a complete system, do not change these mufflers. These mufflers are worth their weight in gold. Uh, they're actually so desirable that even 55 owners, M113K owners, uh, will use these mufflers on their cars because they're so good. Even on the M156 powered cars, in fact, I would love to put these on the ML as well uh, because they are just that good. They have the perfect amount of sound out while not having any drone. It's just a really well-designed muffler. Now you guys are gonna hear what the stock exhaust sounds like. This should be pretty familiar to you guys with C63s out there. I thought I'd just include it anyways as a baseline. I'll be using my car because it is still completely stock, along with some other cars as well, just for the sake of variety. I should also mention that every setup I include will be louder than the previous one. So for example, this will be the quietest one at stock, the next one will be a little bit louder, the one for that even louder, and then so on. I'm sure you guys have heard of H-pipes and X-pipes when doing research on C63 exhaust systems, but to clarify, what people do sometimes is they'll replace the secondary catalytic converters with an either an H-pipe or an X-pipe or just straight pipes, and this can create a different variation of sound. We're gonna go over all those in this video as well. But general rule of thumb is that the X-Pipe will give you a little bit more low-end torque because of extra back pressure. And the secondary cats do actually have an X-Pipe in them, so kind of continuing that how it does help the car a little bit. Um, some people say it doesn't make a difference. Uh, some say the H-Pipe sounds a bit better, um, less raspy, but there's a lot of variation here and this can all kind of be subjective, so I just thought to throw it out there. Our first set of modifications for the exhaust, so mostly the lower moving things that were once there for the sake of more volume, basically you gotta make it louder, right? That's what you wanna do. So, the first one we're going to have is the secondary cat delete. So here we have the secondary cats removed with straight pipes. Now, it's pretty simple. Any exhaust shop can do this, um, depending if they care about cats or not. But because there are no sensors around these cats, you're not going to have any air codes, no issues with smog, etc. unless they do like a sniffer test, which even then you should still pass with primaries. Um, but yeah, here's what it sounds like. Alright, on 
to a bad start. Next up, we have removing the resonator. So a full-on resonator delete. This time you've left the secondary cats in, but have chosen to remove the resonator. And here's what that sounds like. the next step would be removing both of them. So you may see a straight pipe from your primary cats at your headers to your mufflers, and that's what this sounds like. This is by far the most popular setup for the CT3 exhaust modifications because it is cheap and it sounds pretty damn good. So those two things put together make for a pretty good setup and it is very loud, uh, but not too loud where it's like you're going to go to jail. Now we're going to start getting to more of the more advanced things, which is really not more advanced, it's just getting different parts. So here we have replacing the secondary cats with an X-pipe, which is kind of like what the secondary cats had inside of them, except now we have a proper just straight through X-pipe. And we also have a resonator delete from before. Sounds a little bit different. You get a little bit more back pressure, supposedly more low end torque, which could help with your tune or whatever you're doing with your car other than just the exhaust. Uh, but yeah, it's what that sounds like. pipe and res delete will be the H pipe and the res delete. A little bit different sound. Here it is. Just a fair warning guys, from this point forward your car will no longer pass your emissions uh, legally. Um, means we no longer have primary catalytic converters as you can see. If you don't have uh, cats, your post cat will be like, yo, why Missions, ooh. And then you're not going to pass your missions testing, so if you live in California, you better know some people, or you just shouldn't do it. But moving on, anyways, uh, this setup we have primary cat delete with kind of a little bit different over here. We have a secondary cat delete as well, and then an X pipe in place of the resonator. So a little bit further back with the X pipe this time. In theory, it should be the same if you have an X pipe over here, over here, and it's just straight pipe, but it'll just make sound a little bit different, that's all I'm saying. So here's what that sounds like here. So we got the uh, cat delete primary and secondary, but maintaining the sock resonator. Pretty interesting setup. Uh, not really common from what I understand. Usually people usually leave the primary cats alone unless they're uh, you know, already gotten rid of the resonator. But yeah, here we have primary cat delete and secondary cat delete with the stock resonator. Here's what that sounds like. Next up, we got everything deleted basically. We have primary cat delete, secondary cat delete, and resonator delete. So, this is pretty much as loud as you can get 
with the stock mufflers and with the stock headers. Um, this is going to be pretty loud. Uh, you're going to get complaints from the HOA, that, that's for sure. <laughs> And then last off, it's pretty much the same thing as what we just had previously, uh, but instead of using you know, various deletes and whatnot, you just buy one product, which is called the Army Trix uh, Downpipe. They're a very popular exhaust company. I didn't actually know this until recently, but they make this downpipe, which is kind of weird because usually downpipes are terms, turbo turbo cars, but um, they have a downpipe for the C63, which deletes the primary catalytic converter as well as the secondary, and I believe these uh, resonators as well, though they may have been deleted separately. Anyways, that's what this sounds like. It's actually a pretty good solution if you live in California or a state with emissions standards where you get tested and you need to put cats back in uh, because it's removable and it is, you can put your cats back in pretty easily uh, for testing. So here's what that sounds like. And that, my friends, is the last of the stock headers sound clips we've got today. But before we move on to header stuff, uh, notice the shirt I'm wearing. It says, uh, you know, 63M156, the Nashville Aspirate 6.2 liter V8, which, if you're watching this video, you probably have one of, uh, one of these, actually. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys like this shirt, be sure to check it out. Link in the description below. It's my new company, sta-industries.co. Check out all the merch I have there. A lot of AMG 63 stuff. Be sure to check it out. What is that? Wait. Sorry guys, that was weird. For a second I thought my BMW was actually working. Anyways, oh, uh, this shirt too, by the way. Pretty cool, right? Interstate 63 style, M156 V8. Also on the site, sdindustries.co. Be sure to check it out. Anyways, shameless plug aside, let's get back to the exhaust video. Let's talk about headers. So, MBH headers, uh, ARH headers, uh, Agency Power, Moscow Supercharger, all great companies to buy our headers from. Even White Tech, although they're very expensive. In fact, they're all pretty expensive in the C63. But headers are the biggest power mod you can do for the Astrid Aspirin M156 engine. Um, with that being said, the headers do sound pretty similar between different long tubes and whatnot. There are slight differences here and there, little nuances. Uh, but for the most part, it's going to be a massive boost in volume as well as performance, like I said earlier. Overall, though, the main difference between headers is going to be the quality of them. Typically, the cheaper they are, the lower quality they're going to get. For example, you could buy some headers off eBay right now for 800 bucks. Do I recommend it? No, but you could do it if you wanted to. Um, now, now, to install headers in these cars is quite tedious, very difficult. Um, so, you know, it's not something you want to want to do multiple times. Um, so, just keep that in mind when making your purchase or making a decision about headers. Now, for the first setup, we have MBH headers paired with um, straight pipes that go that take place of the secondary catalytic converters with the stock resonators. So basically, resonator back, everything stock, but MBH headers and straight pipes for secondary cats. Here's what that sounds like. <laughs> Also, just want to clarify, if it doesn't sound like it is on video, the headers car is going to be a lot louder in person than uh, the other ones with the stock headers, so just be mindful of that. But on the video, it may not translate to the exact same thing, but trust me, they're quite a lot louder. Anyways, this next setup is actually one of my favorites. We have ARH headers uh, with an X-pipe to replace the secondary cats and the stock resonator. The tone is fantastic on these, and they are very, very loud. In fact, the owner of this car has had multiple complaints by his HOA about having cars too loud. So, you know, that's something to think about if you live in a very strict uh, community with regard to noise complaints and all that stuff, just keep that in mind. But if you're like me, you probably don't care. Anyways, uh, here's what that sounds like.
Here we got a similar setup to before, except now we have uh, Benzworks headers with an H pipe to replace secondary cats and the stock resonator. Here's what that sounds like. This car is also uh, a good friend of mine, so I see it all the time, I hear it all the time. It sounds great, also very loud. And next up, we actually have two cars with the exact same setup. We have ARH headers and x type to replace secondary cats and a resonator delete. This also sounds great in person, uh, also a lot louder, a lot louder. VRP headers that go straight back to your mufflers running the middle. So you have straight pipes in between your VRP headers and your mufflers, so secondary cat delete and resonator delete. These are pretty loud as well. Um, you're going to be very careful now just driving around town if the cop sees you. It's over. In the state of California at least. Thing. We have the exact same setup except with ARH headers, uh, but also straight back to the mufflers, nothing in between. <laughs> Next up, we've got a very interesting and unique setup. It's actually the only setup I've seen that's like this so far, and it is the loudest car for my entire life. I'm not exaggerating, it is the loudest car I've ever heard before. Um, so it has ARH headers with double X pipes, so we have an X pipe to replace the secondary cats, I believe that one's ARH, and then we have a, an X pipe to replace the resonator as well as a full FI frequency intelligence cat back exhaust system, so that includes new mufflers, new tips, and I believe the second X pipe is actually FI as well. I actually have this car today, uh, the day I'm recording this video, and here's what it sounds like. So yeah, quick shout out to Gary for letting me check out his car before he even got to see what it sounded like in the first place, and also shout out to the guys at Ben Specialist for taking time out of their day to uh, start the car for me and rev it a little bit just for this video, so uh, shout out to them. Next up, we have the full IPE exhaust system, so this includes long tube headers, we have a single x pipe in the middle, and their own bespoke mufflers. This does sound pretty good, um, this specific setup actually does have race cats, which means you could pass smog, uh, which is a pretty big benefit. You do have your pre and post Cat O2 sensors. Now, I'm sure uh, there's definitely a caveat someone that says you can't do this, but I mean, if you go into a smog station and they see that you pass, your monitors pass, your OBD monitors, and this technically would be California, you know, legal if you can pass that. Um, I'm not saying it is, so please take my word for it, but there's more of a chance it's legal than not if you're in you know, a different part of the world as well. I can definitely test the sound of this exhaust system as I was following my buddy Vic in uh, the canyon, the Angels Crest Highway driving behind his car with this exhaust system and this sounded so good. It sounded really good and it just was super loud as well. Um, but definitely a pretty expensive system, so just keep that in mind, but it is very cool.
Next up, we have the exact same exhaust system, more or less, except for a big detail, which there are no cats this time, so fully catless. Does sound pretty good. A little bit throatier than the uh, catted version, but also very similar in that regard. But certainly not least, we have the full titanium Akrabovich exhaust for W204C63. This includes their long tube headers in titanium. It also has a pair of resonators in titanium. And their own mufflers and their own setup in titanium. Don't hold back. Um, so very cool, very expensive, but definitely never even like seen one of these cars with this exhaust in person before. Lucky enough to have a follower that does have the system, which is pretty cool. And here's what that sounds like. Well guys, we made it through that long video of over 20 different CC23 exhaust setups. If you guys found this video interesting or helpful at all, consider leaving a like and maybe even subscribe for more AMG content like this. I do a lot of stuff like this, I do DIYs, I do you know changing oil, transmission fluid, repairing intake manifold on CC23, I got you covered. I want to thank again all my followers who did submit their own video clips with their different exhaust setups and sharing what they've done to make this video possible. Without you guys, this video would not have happened, so again, Thank you very much.